Hello everyone. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. And again, we are preparing for Steak and Blowjob Day this week. But before we get off onto the, um, the products and all of this, I have something that I want to share with you. So I was um, in prayer this morning and I often get people that ask me about love and exactly what love is. And I can give you a whole rundown of what love is. But when I thought about what love is and when I line it up biblically, the first two things that came to me was love is patient and love is kind. And I just want to let you know that when you're operating in love with people, relationships, partnerships, whatever it is that you're doing, and you want to see what love looks like, first of all, it's patient, meaning that it's not, um, it's not dealing with aggravation, frustration. It's allowing others to speak. It's allowing them to have a voice. Um, it's uh, allowing um, another person to be able to listen and take their time and not making uh, everyone around them feel rushed. That's what patience looks like. And kindness is just simple as uh, I don't even know how to explain it other than just being good to people. Just being good to the people that have been put in your life. That's what kindness looks like. Being good to them. Extending a little grace and a little mercy. So I wanted to share that with you all this morning because I'm often asked on a regular basis, what does love look like? And it's an action word. And if you're going to start with anything before we go into, you know, it's not jealous, it's not boastful, it's not arrogant, it's not rude. You know, it's a whole list of things that goes along with love. The first two action words that I want you to start exercising is being patient and being kind. Okay. Now, this little nugget is going to be for my wives. Okay. So last night I was watching television and I was just sitting there and every morning I pray with my husband, meaning we hold hands, we pray, we pray out loud, right? But throughout the day, I'm constantly in prayer, but not necessarily constantly in prayer for my husband. It's just like just being in prayer, period. And last night the Spirit spoke to me and he said, Pray for your husband. And the reason that the Spirit told me that, because it began to reveal to me why you pray for your husband. The reason we pray for our husbands, praying with them is great, but praying for them is important too, is because these are the people that's making the decisions for your family. They're making the decisions for the kids. They're making the decisions for you. And when they're going out into the world and they are making decisions, you want to make sure that they're making decisions with wisdom and that they have a peace concerning the decisions that they are making. So that was my, that's my little nugget for my ladies in the wife school. I had a wife that contacted me. Well, a future wife because she's engaged. Um, I, I had one to contact me this morning. Well, I'm not going to say she contacted me this morning. She contacted me at the end of February. I just got the message this morning, just checked it. And she sent me a picture of her ring. And she told me that she is so grateful that she actually enrolled in wife school and that she will forever be a student. And that's the thing. We have to always understand that we have to remain teachable on this journey because things change, people change, and we have to get to know the person every day. If you just watch this new Tyler Perry movie, at the end, Tyler Perry talked about the importance of renewing vows. And when you're renewing vows, you're saying, I do to that person that they are today. Because the person that you married, like I married Spencer 22 years ago. This year will be 23 years. He's not the person that I married 22 years ago. Today, when we renew our, our vows in July, if the Lord say the same, I will be remarrying the person that he is today. So the, it's important that you understand what it is that you're doing. Because let me tell you, I can teach you all day long how to do the golf golf 3000 and all of this. By the way, the class is $19.99 online. Um, there is a 30% discount code, blowjob. I could teach you all this all day long. I, I could teach you how to, to be the best at giving head. But what good does it do if 
he never chooses you. Especially if it's a man that you want to choose you, right? In other words, I could teach you all of this, but if he if he not staying and you constantly have a revolving person in your bed that you're doing this to, it's in vain. Because I teach you to do this because I want you to be able to do it and be the best at it with this one person and they supposed to stay. Now, if that ain't what you want at this point in your life, I get it. But y'all know if you follow me, my teachings are for people who are serious about relationships and marriage. Okay. All right. So let's get off into it. Um, I saw a little joke and it said that uh, March 14th is steak and blowjob day for the rest of the world. But to married folks, it's just March 14th. We're not going to let them do that to us. We're not going to let them do that to us. It is steak and blowjob day for the married people too, okay? And we are going to cut up on February, I'm sorry, on March the 14th. I keep saying February 14th. We're going to cut up on March the 14th too, just like everybody else. In other words, we present our best. Today's topic is gagging, okay? If you download the video, there is a whole demonstration, everything to teach um, gagging, to teach the best positions to prevent gagging and all of that kind of stuff. But if you don't have the funds to download the video because you want to spend the money on the product, I completely understand. The product that helps prevent gagging is Deep Throating Spray by Goodhead. The reason I have so many of them up here is because they come in all different flavors, okay? The original flavor was strawberry. Strawberry came out, everybody loves strawberry. Then they came out with watermelon, okay? Then eventually all the other flavors came out. Cotton candy is one of the newer flavors that came out. But my personal favorite has always been mint. And the reason mint has been my personal favorite is because not only does it numbs the throat, but it cools, the, um, it, um, it, it gives this cooling sensation in the mouth. And when you're giving head, you can stop and you can blow and they can feel that cooling sensation. Your breath smells like mint. When you finish giving head, you can come up, you can give them a nice kiss. And guess what? Your mouth is minty. So for me, I always love the mint flavor, okay? So we have strawberry. We have blueberry. Is it blueberry? Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Blue raspberry. Blue raspberry tastes like the uh, the blue... Um, Y'all know the bubble gum that's blue, that's raspberry, blue raspberry? It tastes just like that, okay? A mint, my personal favorite. Cinnamon, now they don't have the keychain for cinnamon, but cinnamon tastes like cinnamon rolls. It's not a spicy cinnamon. It tastes like cinnamon rolls, like a sweet cinnamon, okay? Of course, we have watermelon. We have cherry. Some people love cherry. Cherry has never, I, I don't even care for cherry snowballs. Like, I've never been like a big cherry type of person, but some people love it. Cherry, and then we have cotton candy, which actually tastes like the cotton candy that we eat from the state fair. Real, real, real sweet. So out of all of these, the one that is the sweetest is going to be cotton candy. It's going to be a real sweet taste. Mint, of course, tastes just like mint. It's a real minty cooling taste. And strawberry is just that. It's strawberry. Now, the great thing is you have the big bottles, right? And then you have the keychains. Now, the keychains is for people who suck and dick on the go. That is going to be for my ladies who pulling over on the side of the road. That's going to be my ladies who traveling a lot, um, who don't want to necessarily take a big bottle, TSA approved. They just want real small, simple things, compact that they can carry with them. That's going to be the keychains, and that's going to be, if, if you look at it, it actually can hook on your keychain. Okay? All right. All of these on the website, again, we have 30% off the whole website this week. The discount code is blowjob, all uppercase letters. All right. So then we have, I'm, I'm pulling it because I want to make sure I'm grabbing the right one. We have wet head. Now, all of these are deep throat sprays, but two flavors actually have wet head. Wet head activates the saliva gland so that when you're giving head, it's super, 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 super sloppy. Like sloppy, 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 the way you're going to need that bib sloppy. Or if you don't want to use the bib and you want it to run all down on your titties so you can put the dick in between the titty fuck, that's great too. Okay? Yes, y'all talk about this woman and pray, talk about praying and stuff. Uh, when the video first got started, and I just want to talk about putting the, the thing in between the titties and titty fuck. Yes, let me tell you something. Just because you love the Lord don't mean that you don't know how to get down in the bedroom. Okay? You got to have balance. All right? You know, you know how you got it. So I'm just trying to tell you what you got to do to keep it, 
All right? All right. So don't get so foolish to where you get saved to where you forget how to turn up in the bedroom and enjoy your spouse in the bedroom. That is one of the main issues that I see with the church. They get people, they was throwing it back and doing all of this here. Then they love the Lord and then all of a sudden they act like they don't know how to handle the dick no more. Okay? That's not what we got over here. Y'all know I'm faith-based for number one. You know I'm a woman of God. I love Jesus. I love me some Jesus. However, I'm just trying to get you to understand that you got to be able to handle business in the bedroom too. Okay? Men are practical. We deal with emotional stuff. And we, we sing and praises and all that. Not saying that men not, but normally you see the women in the church. I'm just being honest. Okay? So with that being said, you got to be able to be balanced. Meaning that if you over there and you praying and your husband come and he tapping you and letting you know it's time, you say, Lord, I'll be right back. Let me take care of this natural man that you gave me. And you ain't even got to get up off your knees. Just turn to him. You get what I'm saying? But I'm, this is a little bit too much for some of y'all. I, I know it. But with that being said, we have the wet head. Wet head activates the saliva gland so that you can give super, super, super sloppy head. All right. So not only are we numbing the throat to help with the gag reflex, because the gag, when, when you're experiencing gagging, it's just letting your throat know that something is in the back and it's not supposed to be there. Your body is telling you it's not supposed to be there. But the thing is, it can be there if you relax the gag reflex. All right. Some people like me, I like to use this kind of stuff because I'll be wanting it to, to, to go deep. Like I want to be able to feed all down up in here. You know, now some of y'all got men and they shaft ain't that long, so it don't matter how much it don't matter how much of this you spray, you'll never be able to go deep. But when you have men that have long, lengthy shafts, you can actually take them deeper. All right. And that's that's the great thing. That's what, what we want to be able to have. All right. If he is too, 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 too big and you can't swallow the whole thing. Watch my video because I'm going to tell you what to do when they're too, too, too big. And if you watch my video, I'm going to tell you what to do if they're real, real, real short. But you got to go and download it. The video is $19.99 right now. So, oh, before I end, yes, your auntie is back on Twitter again for the umpteen time. I have had my Twitter forever, but I have not been active on my Twitter. But what I'm starting to realize is for people in the line of work that I'm in, Twitter is actually my friend. Because I can advertise my, my, my uh, fantastic fellatio class. The text does not get flagged. I can use the term blowjob. I can use the term deep throating. I can use all of those terms and Twitter don't bother me. Okay? So if you want like a little sample of what the class is with me actually showing you how I'm doing the Gawk 3000, you got to go on Twitter. Twitter is only one PPG, just like you see it down below. Um, I just did the boss conference. And on the boss conference, you know, they're encouraging people, especially entrepreneurs like myself, to be on all platforms. And y'all, let me tell you something. I really, I understand it. But I'm, I have always been one of those people that have been slow to migrate. I'm just, that, that's just who I have always been. So I got Facebook down pack. Then I remember when Instagram came out, I was like, I don't know. I ain't for these pictures. So I got Instagram down pack with pictures and videos, right? Now my Twitter is going to be able to attract the audience without me just being flagged. I am on TikTok. There's only one PPG as well. But I have to get on TikTok and make me another video because I only did one. So I'm, it's like I'm, I'm forcing myself to get on these platforms. So what I'm doing is I'm going to create a schedule. And so many minutes, like every, like so many minutes throughout the day, even if I don't post number one thing on TikTok, I'm going to take 15 minutes and do me a TikTok. I'm going to take 15 minutes and get on Twitter. I'm going to take my morning and do what I do on Facebook and get my page set up to flow for the day. Because normally when you post on Facebook, people, will be, they'll be on it all day long, you know, chatting and stuff. And then I do my Instagram in the morning as well. I have not gotten on the Snapchat bandwagon at all. And I heard a lot of kids over there and I really don't want children. I, that ain't what I really want. I want the grown folks. So I don't know about Snapchat, but I'm trying to get on the TikTok bandwagon. All right. I think that is it. Again, 30% off the website. The code, uh, the coupon code is blowjob, all uppercase letters, blowjob. All right. I want to make sure before I end this video that I don't have anything else that I'm missing. I'm just trying to make sure. Um, oh, 
I have been nominated for an award. The voting is going to start on Friday. So once I put the link up, y'all start voting. All right. Uh, I think that is about it. I think that's about it. All right. You all be blessed. You all enjoy the rest of your day. The store is open. Come and see Mrs. Brooke today. She is going to be here assisting you with all of this great stuff that I've been talking about. Okay. Come see Brooke. She going to work it out for you. If Brooke not here, Joshay will be here. If Joshay not here, Taylor here. If Taylor not here, Monica here. Yes, we are fully staffed. Finally, fully staffed here at the store so that I'm freed up to be able to do what it is that I'm supposed to be doing on the online side. Um, don't forget to turn on your notifications for YouTube for tomorrow night. I am interviewing a sex worker who became a sex worker during the pandemic. That was her way out after she, well, I'm not saying way out, she was homeless. That was her way to help herself because she lost her job uh, due to the pandemic. So that's going to be real interesting because a lot of y'all didn't thought about it. And you can't tell me that you ain't thought about throwing it back. Because during the pandemic, uh, people couldn't even get to it like they wanted to. So I know they were charging more than $40. They had to been charging more than $40. So you can't tell me that some of y'all, and some of y'all, y'all doing it, you just don't put that title on it. You know, y'all hey, y'all y'all know how to call Mr. Henry when you need that light bill paid. And, and the hours was cut at the job. And all of a sudden, you know, Henry getting this text message. How you doing? What you doing? I ain't heard. I hey stranger. I ain't talked to you in a long time. Cause you know that you know it, it's the ninth, and you already know that light bill due on the 15th. And you know by 9 and 15, you're gonna be the work missing her ass over and be done got that light bill money. I done seen it done. I, I know how the game go. Okay. I know how it go. So my job is not to look down on nobody. And and let me say this too before I end. Because you know, I don't normally read comments. But with YouTube, they email you every comment. So, you know, you kind of see the comments. Boy, people are harsh on YouTube. When I say harsh, they are harsh. And I think the internet has made people become very mean-spirited. Meaning that they say things that they normally wouldn't even be bold enough to say in anybody's face. But the internet has given them this boldness to just to be able to say mean, ugly, nasty stuff. And I, I don't know, but I told y'all what love looked like at the beginning of this video. If you didn't catch it, go back and rewatch it for the replay. Love is patient and it is kind. And that's the one thing that I think we could use in this world right now is a little more kindness. Because y'all are being very cruel to one another. And that don't look like Jesus to me. That don't, I, I don't think that's, a, that is not a representation at all. And the church folks is the absolute worst. Baby, they will not allow nobody to be delivered. They love to tell you to come up to the altar for the altar call for deliverance. You go up there to get delivered. God then forgave you. He don't even remember it no more. Talking about Jesus. He don't even remember what you did no more because he didn't throw it in the sea of forgetfulness and he ain't even worried about you no more. He worried about who you said you was trying to be. And he go to church, folks. They're going to continue to remind you about who you was. They will not let you be delivered. And I just think that it's horrible. We got to do better work. We, we do. All right. That's going to wrap me up. Y'all be blessed. Enjoy your day. Do not forget to shop the website. I'm about to process these online orders right now so I can get them shipped out. That way y'all can do the gunk off 3000 on March 14th for Steak and Blowjob Day. You gonna, I'm making sure all your stuff here. I get so many orders from Georgia. Oh my God. Georgia, y'all show me so much love. It is like, I, I, don't, I can't even explain it. Georgia, thank you so much. I get so much Georgia and then Texas will be number two. I get so much love from Georgia and Texas. Oh my God. So again, two day priority shipping. So if you order it today, which is Wednesday, you get it by Friday. All right. Be blessed.